were supposed to release him for test flights on our auto trip. We'll do the same. United States Army Carrier Pigeon number 13576. Prefer briefer name. Ming Toy, daughter of happiness. But, Pop, that's a boy pigeon. Ming Toy, temporary alias while on case. If you take it, I'm going with you. Uh. Oh, but I'll be court martialed if I lose him. Uh. Guardhouse, excellent guarantee for offspring's whereabouts. <laughs> <laughs> No. A spooky mansion in the middle of the Mojave Desert, owned by a reclusive millionaire with a hideous facial scar. A stranded eclectic group of guests, soon a man is murdered, and a dark family secret is revisited. The lady of the house fears for her life. Who is she going to call? No, not them. Mr Chan, of course, a.k.a. Sidney Toller, in 1942's Castle in the Desert. This was 20th Century Fox's last Chan film and the 11th for Sidney Toller and it's a pretty darn good mystery thriller. A twisty, clever plot, some good sets and plenty of credible suspects and it's also very eventful. Only 60 minutes long but they pack a lot into that running time. Poisonings, sabotage, crossbow attacks to name only a few. Nicely atmospheric, this film moves along at a fast pace, really stopping for a breath and a witty Charlie Chan pearl of wisdom. Victor's son Hyung returns as number two's son to add some comic relief and Sidney Toller is reliable as ever as a logical and mysterious Honolulu detective. Sidney Toller is good in the role but I feel he is a little aloof and expressionless at times compared to his predecessor Warner Rowland but I do like him still as Chan and he adds a lot to this movie. Toller was picked from 34 hopeful actors to play the role of Chan after Warner Rowland's death and after 20th Century Fox shut down the production during World War II, Toller bought the rights to the Charlie Chan character from the author's widow and made another series of 11 films with low-budget studio monogram pictures. Now These pictures had a much smaller budget than the 20th Century Fox films and apparently they are not very good. But uh, as I have not seen any of them, I can't really comment. But Chan is Chan after all and I do like a Charlie Chan film. On the plus side, the film is well paced and has a good cast, including Henry Daniel, whom I recognise pl from playing Moriarty in the classic Universal Sherlock Holmes series. At its heart, this film has a good little mystery for Chan to solve. On the downside, it doesn't make the most of its potentially spooky castle in the desert setting, for the most part never really looking like anything other than just a large mansion although we do see a dungeon complete with torture equipment near the movie's finale. This was a difficult case for Chan to solve and aided with a good cast of seasoned character actors and some nice twists and turns along the way. Of its type for sure but a solid little movie all the same. A little in cheap in production on occasion and it could have done with a much better script. But hey, you can't have everything in life. Castle in the Desert was a lot of fun, especially if you like older movies or Charlie Chan. I give it 3 out of 5 stars. Definitely check it out. Thanks for watching and listening and bye for now.